All right, TM Nation, what you're looking at is another pair of true wireless earbuds under 40 bucks that do not suck. These are made by a company called Aglaia and they retail for $35.99, but at the time of the video, there's an extra 30% off coupon for these, making them about 25 bucks. At that price, these are gonna offer you Bluetooth 5.1, 30 hours of total use with the case, built-in mics for voice calls, and you're also getting an IPX6 water resistance rating. As for what you'll get inside of the box, you get your user manual and a quick start guide as well. Followed by that, you get a USB type C cable to charge the case up. You also get a couple of sets of different sized ear tips. And last but certainly not least, you get your earbuds and the charging case. Taking a look at the case, it does feel sturdy in the hand so I think it'll adequately protect your earbuds without any issues. It's also a nice size in my opinion, it shouldn't be too large to throw in a normal sized pocket backpack or purse. But besides that, like I said, the design is fine for me. You don't have too much going on on the outside besides your Aglaia branding on the top, your USB Type-C charging port in the back, and you do have four LED lights in the front of the case that will display the case's charging status when you open or close it. For the battery specs, like I said earlier, you can get about 30 hours of total use using the case, but as for what you'll get on a single charge with the earbuds, you should expect to get about five hours. I can tell you for me guys, over the past two weeks, I'm averaging about four hours and 22 minutes on a single charge using the earbuds between 50 and 75% of the max volume most of the time. But one feature that I am really happy to note that you do get with these earbuds at this price is wireless charging with the case. Now wirelessly charging the case is gonna take longer than using a USB type C cable. With a cable, it'll take about one and a half hours. If you're gonna do it with a wireless charger, it'll take you about double at three hours. Moving on to the design of the earbuds, they do have the stems as you can see, but they're not too long or too short in my opinion. For me, they're pretty much the perfect size to put them in and take them out of my ears pretty easily. For the form factor, they aren't mini earbuds, but they aren't overly large or overly heavy in my ears. If being discreet is your thing, these earbuds are gonna stick out some, depending on the overall curvature of your face. Somebody walking either directly towards you or coming up behind you will likely be able to see them just slightly, but other than that, they shouldn't be crazy noticeable. As far as the comfort, I've worn these for a couple of hours at a time without any ear fatigue, discomfort, or anything of that nature. And although these earbuds are not using any ANC technology, with them in my ears, I feel like I get a low to moderate level of passive noise canceling. Now, I did use these for exercise, guys, and they stayed in place relatively well until I became sweaty. That's when they started to move around just just a bit. You gotta remember that these don't have any ear hooks, any wings, or anything of that nature, so once the sweat starts flowing, you're probably gonna have to reposition them once or twice. But as I said earlier in the intro, these do have an IPX6 water resistance rating, so splashes of water or sweat will not harm them. I did do my water test by spraying water all around the earbuds just to see how they would react while being wet. Let's check out what happened. Concerning the amount of sound leakage that you'll get with these earbuds, they do leak some sound like most true wireless earbuds, but it's not that bad because they do get adequately loud. But I did do my leakage test so that you guys can judge for yourselves. Let's check it out. Again guys, like I said in the intro, these are using Bluetooth 5.1 and so far I've had no issues with lag on my iPhone 12 Pro or my Galaxy Z Flip 3. I've watched quite a few YouTube videos, some Amazon Prime movies, and I also did play some Call of Duty Mobile and everything seemed to be pretty synced up. Now moving on to an area where these are lacking a little bit in my opinion, that's in the playback controls. They're executed by touch and so far they've been really responsive. I I haven't had any issues with them picking up my feedback. But one thing that I'm not that big of a fan of is the fact that you do not have volume controls. You can control your tracks, your calls, and your voice assistant, but when it comes to volume, you're gonna have to control that 
from your device. All right guys, so specs and features out of the way, let me touch on how these have performed for me so far, sound quality wise. I have to say guys, these have impressed me. They really perform well for the price. You get some nice highs and mids, and some deep bass. They also do get more than loud enough for my personal liking, but if you max them out, you will get some distortion. I would say that as long as you keep the volume at about 75%, you'll be able to maintain most of the clarity in what you're listening to at or below this level is where you're gonna get that bright sound signature with everything being relatively well balanced. Another area where these earbuds have impressed me is with the call quality. I think they do a decent job of reducing some of your environmental noise and focusing on your voice. I have made multiple voice calls with these earbuds and so far nobody has complained about how I sounded, but I did take a sample for you guys to judge for yourselves. Let's take a listen. All right guys, so right now I have the earbuds paired to my iPhone 12 Pro. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on the earbuds. Now I'm not gonna do any type of editing to this audio, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how these perform for voice calls. So overall fam, like I mentioned earlier, I do think that this is a solid pair of true wireless earbuds for the price. They're giving you okay battery life, decent call quality, good audio quality, and you're also getting Bluetooth 5.1 and wireless charging with the case. It is a little bit of a letdown that you do not have volume controls with the earbuds, but outside of that, I really can't complain about what you get here for the price. But you have made it this far in the video guys if you haven't already please drop a like on it for me because it definitely helps the channel grow and i appreciate it also if this was your first time here why don't you consider subscribing as i drop at least one video on content just like this per week but until next time like i always say y'all be safe y'all stay positive and most importantly y'all have a great day i will catch y'all in the next one but until then it's your boy tech mo and i'm out peace